Hello all you YouTubers, this is Warrington Filming, Painting, Decorating, Trade Secrets and today I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on how to go about rolling a door in a finished paint, i.e. satin finish, eggshell or gloss. For this particular demonstration it's going to be uh, an eggshell finish, okay? So uh, one thing you're going to need is a roller to uh, roll the door which is adequate to doing it in gloss or uh, eggshell. Now you may need to watch, you may need to want to watch my um, other video on how to paint a staircase. Okay, that will tell you exactly what type of roller you want. So you will need to watch that video before you put a finished coat on the door to find out what roller you need. And you're going to need a good, clean, glossing brush. Okay, so you don't want bits coming out of any of these things. And if you watch another one of my previous videos, it will show you how to prepare your tin, okay, uh, to use as a scuttle or roller tray for actually putting the finished coat on your door, right? <clears throat> Bear in mind, if you are doing this in a, a private customer's property or even your own property, you are going to need to sheet up the surrounding area, etc., okay? Because when using a roller, you do get some... Uh, splatters of paint going around the area. Right, so the next thing you're going to need is something to wedge the door open, okay? Because you don't really want to be glossing that door while it's closed on the frame. So just get yourself a corking gun or a bit of wood or anything like that and just wedge that near the door like that. That will keep it open, okay? Um, before you start putting your finished coat on the door, dean a bit with a fine grade sandpaper, okay, and give it to dust off. Right, let's get down and show you how to do it. First thing I'm going to do, load the roll up with the finished coat. And the way I do it, I'm going to actually paint this top section here, then the bottom section, okay. So I'm going to roll this top section and lay it off with a brush. Some people like an orange peel effect, which is what you'll get if you don't lay it off with a brush. Okay, so I'm going to roll this door, top section first, and lay it off with a brush. Okay. But like I say, just check the other video out, and you'll see how I've prepared this tin ready for a roll. So it don't really matter where you start. I tend to start on these inserts on the door, roll them flat. Use the edge of the roller like that, also the other end of the roller to get them these mouldings. Okay. Make sure you get in these corners with the rollers as well, in these corners here. Right, there's one panel up. Second panel, up to there, get in the corners, down the flat. Don't be scared of putting a reasonable amount of paint on the roller. Don't try and scrimp and scrape it off. Right, there you go. Now that centre panel. Sort of spread it out with the roller so you get an even sort of coating. Like I say, don't be scared of putting a bit of paint on it. If you've sheeted up surrounding area, you've not got to worry if you spill a bit. Now bear in mind, when you do these doors, most doors will have a clean hinge here, which you don't need to get paint on. This particular door here is in a new property with dummy hinges on, so it doesn't matter if I hit the hinge with the paint. So I'm going to go right up to the hinge there. Right, that's half the door rolled. So now I'm going to just get the brush, like I say, make sure it's a clean brush, and just do it as if I'm painting the door. But I'm only doing it like that because I'm not actually putting the paint on with the brush, I'm just putting the brush marks in to the paintwork, which is classed which is called in the trade like laying it off, laying the paint off. 
der in der Konisch. Und das remember the, the, the brush motion. Up and down. Don't just there finish in the middle. Because you're going to get more up there. Just go from top to bottom. Like that. Top to bottom. Just go over the top there with the brush where you finished. Into the hinge area. Make sure I get the paint there. Like I say, if it's a new hinge, you're going to have to cut that in with a brush. And always follow the, the, the line of the panel. Like this particular panel here, I'm not doing that. Because the panel goes that way. I lay it off with the brush there. Because that panel goes up and down. I go up and down. The panel there, I go across. Same over the whole door. Right, so that's the top section of the door. Straight into the panels again. Make sure I get in them corners. Use the edge of the roller to go down. Back end into that. Straight over to the other panel. Pick them corners with the edge of the roller. You can even go across like that if you want. End of the rollers to go down the mouldings there. Just check for a, a, a fat edge on the other side. As I say, if you want to roll the door, then check my other video on how to paint a staircase because that will tell you exactly what type of roller you, uh, you need for doing this type of work. And if you're just going to choose any roller and paint it all, what's going to happen is you're going to get loads of little fibres come out of this and it'll be all over your door. So check that video out because you will need to know what type of roller. There's nothing worse than glossing or whatever a door and then find out as you're halfway through it, you've got fibres of hairs all over the door. Have to do it again. Right, so that's the door finished. Right, so there's the door edges as well. Do the same procedure there, but also check for a fat edge in this corner. If you get a fat edge, just run your brush down like that, take it off. Also, a lot of people like the top edge of the door coating up, so just coat that up. Just run your brush over there, take an edge off, because it drips down the edge of the door. Same here, do the top edge, just run that brush over there like that. And there's your finished door. And now, like I said, that's been done in a, a satin finish. Same applies when you're undercoating it, glossing, satin finish, eggshell, whatever. Um, just follow that procedure and what I've said in the video, you should be okay. Right then, quality filming, painting and decorating, trade secrets. Thanks to all my subscribers, much appreciated. Uh, don't forget to subscribe yourself and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Any comments are welcome, okay? Until next time, see you later.